Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from YourBlackWorld.net. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing my National Action Network t-shirt, um, just as a show of solidarity with uh, Reverend Al Sharpton. Um, as you know, I, I don't agree with everything Reverend Sharpton does, but I actually want to salute the fact that he supported um, our open letter on mass incarceration uh, that Russell Simmons and I wrote to President Obama. And that campaign is going very well. Thousands of you have signed up. And uh, if you want to learn more, please visit yourblackworld.net slash end mass incarceration. That's yourblackworld.net slash end mass incarceration. Another person who signed on to the letter was uh, LL Cool J. Um, uh, his first name is Todd. I don't know his last name. But, um, uh, you know, LL's interesting. Uh, I, I've always respected him a lot because his career has been so long. It's like he hasn't aged in 20 years and, and he has this consistency, professionalism, and longevity that really um, I respect and, and damn near envy uh, what he's been able to pull off. He's, he's an incredible human being in that regard. But I never met him. And, um, you know, but LL and I talk for the first time the other day um, about this recent song that he released called Accidental Racist. And uh, I can't I, I can't divulge the, too many details of the conversation other than the things that uh, that we agreed it would be okay to talk about. And, you know, one thing I can say is that, uh, you know me, I, I like to be, I try to be a, a sincere person. And, um, and I felt uh, a degree of sincerity when I talked to him. I felt that uh, that he was trying to do the right thing with this song, and um, and that some of it may have been a mi little misinterpreted. That maybe when you go into that creative space, it's kind of hard to talk about 400 years of history in a 30 second verse on on, on a, a hip hop song. Now, um, and he's a good uh, he's a good rapper. I mean, you know, Vigilante out of Kansas City actually said that LL is the greatest rapper in history. I don't know. I'm not. I can't, I'm not qualified to say, but, um, he, he's very good at what he does. Now, now here's the thing. Um, I think that LL definitely deserves credit for trying. That's what I gave him credit for. I told him, I said, look, um, I give you a lot of credit for the fact that at least you're trying to address race. Um, I also give you credit for the fact that you are, you're picking up the phone. You called me to talk about how you can better clarify the point of view that you're trying to, to express in this song. I said, you also deserve credit for the fact that a lot of artists who cross over, they forget about black people. It is just not fashionable to be black. It's not cool to be unapologetically and conscientiously black. Now, you can go out and be a straight-up nigger, excuse my French, but you know what I'm talking about. If you behave like a buffoon and you join the minstrel show, then, yeah, then suddenly blackness is very popular if you want to be a nigger in Paris, right? But if you're trying to be a black person who addresses systemic racism in an intelligent and a conscientious way, in a way that improves the lives of rank and file black folks, people don't want to hear all that. So I told him, I said, look, you know, I give you more credit than I would give a guy like, say, Lil Wayne, who um, I'm disappointed with Lil Wayne for the fact that when he disrespected the family of Emmett Till, he didn't even apologize. He didn't even acknowledge it. He basically said black people don't matter. You people are irrelevant. And I don't have to apologize to you because I can just go sip on my scissor and make my money and white people will always love me. And it doesn't matter if you love me because you're not paying my bills. Um, I think that that's a problem. And, you know, so my my position with, with LL was, look, I said, the sincerity you're showing with me on the phone right now. Just take that to the airwaves. Just, you know, when you talk about it, prepare a 30, 45 second sound bite that you want to share that expresses what you're trying to say. Um, we, we talked about systematic racism and how racial inequality works in America and why people were offended. And, and he got it. I mean, he's a, he's a really, he's a smart guy. So, uh, if you watch the clip of him on Jay Leno, I think he did a good job with that. And, and I respect him for trying. And that's the, the goal, I think, with racism that, we can't necessarily get mad at people for having views that are different from ours. But the key at the end of the day is that we've got to try. We've got to have those tough conversations. We've got to have honest conversations. And we've got to deal with racial inequality because it does exist. It's very real. And it does cripple black families. It cripples the entire community. And we've got to overcome it in order for us to move forward. Well, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from YourBlackWorld.com. Please take care. God bless and have a wonderful day. I am gone. Peace.